Welcome aboard Agave. This is a very unique boat. It's a 97 Marlowe Explorer. It just had an extensive retrofit and I'd like to take you through the boat and I'm mainly going to focus on the owner's perspective of this yacht. Um, one of the things you're going to find with this yacht is it's really nice for a, an owner who maybe has limited mobility, maybe needs extended crew. Um, it also has the ability to run very fast, so should you need to get from port to port quickly or should you have a, a, an emergency and need to get help, this yacht is capable of speeds three to four times faster than yachts of this size typically accomplish. Um, I have a wide access door here, nice big cockpit area, bar area, and this is at the same level as your galley and your main salon living area. So there's no real stairs in the main living area of the yacht. And you're going to see I also have an on-deck master as we go forward so that I really don't have to go up and down stairs all day to live on this boat as the owner. Come on in. As you come in the yacht, you'll see it's very, very large, lots of built-in seating. This built-in seating is great for storage. It's all storage underneath the seating areas, which is really nice for extended voyaging. So aft in the yacht, we have our main storage for entertaining on the aft deck. So over here, I have my um, bar storage area. I also have my ice maker. My glass storage is right here, and there's a bar right here outside. So this is really the primary entertaining area, and I think as the owner, you're hopefully you have nice weather and you're going to eat right there at that cockpit table. Come on forward. I want to show you the galley area. This galley was just rebuilt. When this boat was originally designed, it had a large dining room table and a relatively small galley. And the current owner recognized that I think today's yacht owner really wants a, a bigger, more functional American galley. And that's what they built here. And it's really nice. They've got large sub-zero drawers, lots of counter space. I have room here for some stools. And now I have a really nice, big, functional galley. I have a big dishwasher here. Got my Miele coffee machine. My nice uh, convection microwave. Uh, full-size oven, full-size cooktop. So this is really a very, very functional galley that the American consumer in the yacht market would expect in a yacht of this size. Uh, I'm finding that a lot of the European yachts in this size tend to have, you know, very small galleys, assuming that there's um, a cook in a nook making meals. And I think that most of you really want a large galley like you have in your home. Storage-wise, I've got lots of storage for all of my necessary galley items and dinnerware all along here. So as the owner of the yacht, I've come in the back, I've gone to my outside seating area, I've come through the salon to my large galley, and now I'm going to show you your bedroom. And your bedroom is up just a couple of stairs. I think this could easily become a ramp. Um, come forward with me. This on-deck master arrangement is very common in the 130, 150 foot range, but you rarely find it in a yacht of this size. And what's really nice again is I'm, I'm really living on one level. 
and I have great views from up here and I'm separate from all of the other guests and crew in the yacht. I'm very close to the galley, I'm very close to the salon, very close to the aft deck. So I really have a very unique setup in this yacht being able to be on this level with this stateroom. And I have a full-size king and a really great head in here and fantastic storage. I've got a very large hanging locker right here. And I want to show you this head. It's a fantastic head. Uh, why don't you go on in? I've got a toilet and a bidet, a large tub, a shower, and twin sinks. Again, no steps between your bed and the head. All right, let's go downstairs. I'd like to just briefly show you some of the staterooms downstairs. I have pictures of each individual stateroom and there's a layout drawing in the listing. I'd like to start by showing you the, what I would call the second master on this floor. So if you have um, you know, two couples on the boat, uh, sometimes you kind of fight for who gets the cool room. And uh, this second master I think is really nice when you're cruising with another couple. So right now we're in the center of the yacht on the lower deck, really right below the on-deck master up above. And this is another king-size bed, not quite full beam, but close to it except for that hallway. But very spacious room, very stable spot in the yacht. And this again has a toilet, bidet, large shower and sink. So it really is a nice stateroom. The third most important room on the yacht is the VIP forward. Let's go up there. So this again is a very large stateroom. And we have these upper bunks here. We call these the grandchildren bunks. If you've got uh, some grandchildren that are, I don't know, four, five, six, seven years old, um, these are perfect for that age group. I've also had families tell me this is great for a whole bunch of kids. Uh, but a really nice stateroom. It is quite separate from the, uh, the second master I just showed you. There's two bunk rooms behind us. So this area is pretty separate from the rest of the yacht. So just aft here I have on the port side, a twin guest with its own head. And straight across the hall, another bunk room. All right, come on aft. Okay, I know it can be confusing walking around the yacht in these videos. I, I am at the bottom of the stairs, aft of that second master I showed you right now. And there are two more smaller staterooms here on the side. And I think these would actually be perfect staterooms for more domestic help. If you need some medical assistance, if you want um, a mate, if you want a uh, cook, um, I really think that these two staterooms are fairly isolated from the rest of the boat. Now there is another crew cabin aft, but these two staterooms are also really nice and they could be used for f extended family as well but I have two separate staterooms that share a shower and head.
So I'm in the port side of those two aft staterooms I was just talking about. And this room is right by the stairs that goes up to the master. It's very separate from the um, second lower deck master I showed you earlier. They have their own head. And then there is a um, shower here that can actually be accessed from either stateroom. With the crew cabin aft, we really have the ability to have three separate cabins just for crew. And here's your port side aft stateroom. Okay, now we're going to go from the galley and the um, on-deck master up to the command bridge. This boat has a enclosed command bridge up top with a day head and jacuzzi. Again, really nice living space up here. Easy to run the boat, always a protected home. So great seating, seating area here, nice table. Uh, have another drink fridge over there. Got great seating for looking forward when you're running. And then aft, I also have a uh, day head, so you don't have to go up and down the stairs when you're up here. Well, thank you very much. We've got um, several other videos with exterior running shots and the exterior spaces in the yacht. So you'll see the links below to those.